Hey, it's another amazing day in Denver. We are living in Denver, Colorado, and today we're going to show you through a property in Aurora listed at 575. You're not going to believe what you get for your money in this one. Yep. Let's get to it. I'm Michelle Wise. And I'm Cheryl Crown. And we are living, living in Denver, Denver Colorado. Colorado. If you're thinking about making a move to Denver, or maybe you already live here and you're just looking to make a move within the city of Denver or metro area, then you've come to the right place. Because we live here, we can give you the inside scoop on everything Denver, so please be sure to tap the bell below for notifications and subscribe to our channel so you'll be the first one to know the next time we drop a new video. Yeah, and we are realtors here in the great state of Colorado, and we have to let you know that, but our main purpose with these videos is basically mostly to inform you. We want to tell you what's here in Denver, what your money gets you, all the great things about what it is like to live here in Denver. So. Make sure you send us an email or give us a call so we can help you through this process if you're ready to go or if you just want more information. We get calls and emails every single day and Michelle and I personally respond to each and every one. So regardless of your time frame, we've totally got you covered. So with that, let's get to it. Let's go. Okay, today we are in great neighborhood here in kind of central east Aurora. Not really south, not really north, kind of right kind of in the middle. But this neighborhood is called Seven Hills and it has been here for about 20, 25 years. This particular house that we've got here behind us was built in 1991. You're going to get about 2,300, 22, 2,300 square feet. That includes a basement and this one's finished. So that's a great added bonus. It gives you an extra bedroom, an extra bathroom, extra general space and cross board. And so, but the neat thing about this neighborhood is that this part of Seven Hills does not have an HOA. So if you're looking for something that doesn't have an HOA, that gives you that freedom to do with what you want with your house, this could be the one for you. So a lot of these neighborhoods in and around here, and many of them within the Seven Hills area, do have HOAs. And so that's something to think about. But if, don't feel like you're missing out on any of the amenities because the city of Aurora, just about a half a mile west of here, has a great community center, a great uh, rec center, and you get access to that, a paid membership access to that if you live here in Aurora so even though you don't have it right here in your neighborhood it's almost in your backyard and uh, gives you some options and benefits of that without having to pay a monthly fee if that's what you don't want to do yeah, and, and driving through this neighborhood, the houses are really well maintained. A lot of times in non-HOA communities, you don't yeah. find this. So there's a lot of perks to not having an, an HOA, and there are some to having them. But in this situation, I think it's uh, it's good all around. Yeah, and this pocket, I mean, you're right across the street has an HOA. Mm -hmm. So you've got the benefit of those houses and bringing up your property value that way with the benefit of these houses that don't to give you that little bit of freedom. And you would never know by driving down the street that this is not a covenant-controlled neighborhood. People take Take care of their houses. It's been here for 20, 25 years, so you've got a lot of mature landscaping, big trees, lots of flowers. This is a really nice neighborhood here, and the benefit about it too is that it's Cherry Creek School District. So uh, you have an Aurora address, but parts of Aurora, as we've covered in other videos, are split. So some of it's Aurora Public Schools, some of it's Cherry Creek Public Schools. This particular neighborhood is Cherry Creek School District, so that's an added bonus if schools are important to you. And so being here on the east side of Aurora, you have great access to pretty much anything you want. I mean, there's shopping just about a half a mile south of here with a Kohl's and a grocery store, a movie theater, restaurants, fast food chains. And then if you go just a little further west in Aurora, you've got shopping, a mall, even if, actually we're kind of centered between the two malls mm -hmm. here. Southlands is to the east of us, uh -huh. uh, southeast of us here. We're sandwiched between that. And then Aurora Mall is to the west and the north of us. So we're pretty much equidistance between the two. And again, every corner in Aurora, you know, you've got something usually again a restaurant strip mall shopping access grocery stores banks gas stations so it's it's this is a great location access to the airport yeah you're only about 20 minutes to dia so if you do spend a lot of time coming and going at the airport this might be a great option for you yeah 470 is about a mile and a half east of us here what you would probably jump on to get to the airport and so you're you're there lickety split mountains maybe on the other hand because we are east it's a little further of a drive to get to the mountains but you know, if you live in Denver, you find a way to get to the mountains no matter where you live here. So, <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah. Due west. Yep. Price on this house is 575. So you're going to be amazed at what that 575 gets you here. Four bedrooms, four bathrooms, living room, formal dining room, eating kitchen with granite, stainless steel appliances, family room with gas fireplace, three bedrooms up, upstairs laundry, full finished basement, uh, two car garage, huge corner lot with some great mature landscaping in the back and a nice wooden deck. So yeah. That's can't it. wait to show you. Let's go look. Welcome, come on in. This is uh, what 575 gets you in Central Aurora in Seven Hills neighborhood. 
So as you enter, you will see that this four bedroom, three bath house has a lot to offer. This is the formal living area with the entryway. It opens up either into the formal dining room or if you go this way, you go into the family room. So let's head this way. We've got a couple cloak closets here. Two car garage access is here. Nice and spacious. You've got hardwood floors throughout the house. This is a gas fireplace. Open space here that you can open up into an eat-in kitchen. Uh, they obviously don't have a table in it, but uh, that would be what the space is for. It opens up to the back deck as well as a nice open kitchen, granite countertops, tile floors here in the kitchen, updated stainless steel appliance package, as well as, if you look out back here, nice private mature backyard. We've got a nice wood deck, some grass space, plenty of room for family gatherings, kids to play, or just to sit out here and enjoy a nice summer evening. In the kitchen here, nice granite, full-size walk-in pantry with nice shelving. And then this circles back around into the formal dining room that again opens back up to the front living room as well as the front of the house. As you come up to the second floor here, you're greeted by this great landing. So open space here to give you that uh, open air feel. And then the primary bedroom is right here. Uh, big and spacious, nice big windows, and you enter here into the five-piece primary bathroom. We do have dual sinks, as well as a sunken tub, walk-in shower, the toilet is behind you, and then a large uh, walk-in closet here for all your storage needs. And then if you come back through this way, As you come upstairs, the two secondary bedrooms on this floor are right here. You'll see that they have nice big bay windows as well, closet, big large closet space. Both of them are nice and bright. The one on here, the left here is very similar as well, maybe a little bit bigger, but again, a nice big bay window, big storage closet. The other nice thing that you have in this particular floor plan is upstairs laundry. So super convenient to have your laundry space right here off the bedroom area and linen closet, as well as the secondary bathroom here, bathtub, granite countertops, tile floors, and it is ready for you. Okay, now we're in the basement, fully finished basement. It's a garden level basement, so you've got some window access, but as you come downstairs here, you'll see that there's this nice little home office space, craft area, built-in uh, workspace here. Uh, turn to the right at the bottom of the stairs, you've got this room here. Not technically a bedroom because it doesn't have a closet, although it does have an egress window, and additionally you have to walk through it to get to this bedroom here, which actually is the fourth bedroom of the house. This room has brand new carpet, an egress window, as well as a closet. So this is a legally defined bedroom here. You've also got some crawl space access here uh, for some extra storage. And then the third bathroom is this direction back over here. And it too has a, a full size bath with a bathtub shower combo and uh, everything else you need. Okay, so there you have it. This is what 575 gets you here in Aurora. Make sure if you have any questions on anything we've talked about today, you give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. We're here for you. Also, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel and give us feedback. Again, we want your feedback. So until next time, we'll see you then.